scientist is trying to deduce the resistance of an unknown component. He labels the resistance of the unknown component x ohms. The resistance of a circuit containing a number of these components then is 5x plus 20 ohms. If a 120 volt potential difference across the circuit produces a current of 2.5 amps, calculate the resistance of the unknown component. This word problem uses a specific formula, V equals IR. Uh, v is for voltage, I is for current, and R is for resistance. So actually solving this word problem is a lot more, uh, a lot less difficult than it seems. All we need to do is take the values that were given and plug them into the formula. So our resistance then is this 5x plus 20 ohms. So we put it in place of R. Our voltage is 120. And our amperage, 2.5 amps. So we're just going to plug those values in. 120 volts equals 2.5 amps times 5x plus 20 ohms. So then we just solve this equation for x. We'll distribute the x here, or the 2.5 here. We'll have 120 equals 2.5 times 5. That's 12 and a half x. And then 2.5 times 20 is plus 50. We need to get rid of that 50, so we'll subtract it from both sides. 50. There we go. Minus 50 over here. So we'll have 70 on the left hand side equals 12.5x. We have 12.5 times x here. We need to get rid of that 12.5, so we do the opposite of multiplication and divide. Divide both sides by 12.5. 12.5 cancels here, and we get 5.6 equals x. So our answer then is x equals 5.66 ohms. My ohm symbol is going to be kind of funny looking, but you know, we get the idea. That's it. Shanice's car is traveling 10 miles an hour slower than twice the speed of Brandon's car. She covers 93 miles in an hour and 30 minutes, and we need to know how fast Brandon is driving. So let's actually start by calculating Shanice's speed in miles per hour. It says she covers 93 miles in an hour and a half, so 93 divided by 1.5 should give us her actual speed in miles per hour. 93 over 1.5 is 62, so 62 miles per hour. Now that's Shanice's speed, and it says that she's traveling 10 miles an hour slower than twice the speed of Brandon. So her speed is equal to twice Brandon's speed minus 10 miles an hour. We're trying to set them equal, so we say his speed doubled, take away 10 miles an hour, is the same as her speed. And now we can sol solve for B, which is Brandon's speed. Should have labeled that, sorry. Brandon. There we go is Brandon's speed. Okay, so then we divide both sides, I'm sorry, add both uh, 10 to both sides first. So we add 10 over here, add 10 over here, we'll get 72 equals 2b, divide both sides by 2, gives us 36 is equal to b. So that means that Brandon's speed is 36 miles an hour, and if we did twice that, that would be 72 and 10 slower than that would be 62, and that was Shanice's speed in miles per hour. So our answer is correct.